So we're done discussing the universal law of gravitation. The next thing that we will be discussing is uh, the idea of weight. So what exactly is weight in our in the in this new context? So weight is simply so let's say for instance example a planet that is uh, this is the moon that is um, uh, revolving around the Earth. Okay, so the weight instead is just uh, the weight of a body is the total gravitational force that is exerted on the body by all other bodies in the universe. This is somewhat related to what we discussed um, um, in the previous uh, topic, uh, wherein we have shown that even though that you have that all the bodies acting on you are exert gravitational force. So, so all the bodies around you exert gravitational force. Um, all of them will exert gravitational force. And here, however, these gravitational forces are small. And as what's the one dominating, uh, dominating is the, the the gravitational force exerted by the Earth on you. Hence, hindi mo nararamdaman yung mga forces na yun. So, pero, um, in principle, it should be that the total weight is the sum of all the gravitational forces that are acting by all bodies uh, in the universe. So, lahat ng objects dapat consider mo. But again, some of them, have, or most of them, have relatively small um, contributions to the total weight um, that, you, that you are uh, acted upon. And hence, your weight is just uh, usually the gravitational force times uh, the, the gravitational force exerted by the Earth on you. So, kaya yun na W equals mg lang na kuha natin. Okay. Now, now, near the surface of the Earth, uh, weight is simply, again, the gravitational force exerted by Earth. So, so uh, that's GMM over R squared. But what is R there? R there is the distance from the center of the Earth towards you. And therefore, since that's a ground unit object, the, the distance there is the radius of the Earth. Kaya may RE dito. RE here is the radius of the Earth. Okay? Hence, the weight is the force exerted by the Earth on you at the distance given by the radius of the Earth. Kaya, importante yung qualifying term na dapat yung radius of the Earth ay yung distance mo ay mas malit ng dihamak sa radius of the Earth. So that it's not really... Um, the contribution of that weight, uh, of that distance, isn't, isn't that large. And um, now, of course, we know that the force is just mass times acceleration. Okay? So this is just equal to m times g, and therefore the m will cancel. And hence, the acceleration due to gravity, small g, can be obtained from, uh, from the gra universal gravitational uh, constant capital G, and hence, you get G equals capital G Me over Re squared. If you plug in the numbers, that is, uh, since the mass of the Earth is about 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, and the radius of the Earth is about 6.38 or 6,380 kilo, uh, kilometers, we get an expression that looks like this. G is 9.81 meters per second squared. Doon ang galing yung 9.81 alam natin. Okay? That is... Uh, at the surface of the Earth, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.80 meters per second squared. Questions? May tanong ba? Walang tanong? Wala? Okay. So, and of course, if you increase the distance from the Earth, uh, the object, let's say you have an astronaut that is um, above the surface of the Earth, the gravitational force in decreases and therefore, uh, which is reflected here by the effective gravitational con uh, effective acceleration due to gravity G effective, and that acceleration due to gravity is uh, one over R squared, it's inverse square, which is obviously based on the universal law of gravitation. Now, as I said, and this is only true for R greater than the radius of the Earth. Kapag nasa loob ka ng Earth, iba yung magiging expression small. Okay, hindi yan parehas. Okay, now, when you calculate the total weight or the total acceleration due to gravity, this should be with respect to the um, to the center, not to the to the radius of, of the Earth. So for example, if your height above the surface of the Earth is H, then the effective gravitational force is not um, GM over H squared, but rather this should be GME all over the radius of the Earth plus height quantity squared. Kasi nga, dapat from the center ang calculation, not from the surface. Okay? Clear ba yon? Clear ba? 
It's not from the surface, it's from the center. Therefore, meron ka na dapat initial na distance dyan na radius of the Earth R. Questions? May tanong? Wala? Walang tanong? Wala? Okay. 